Hey guys, welcome, welcome. Um, today I'm gonna do a quick little video showing you my most rare plants that I own. Um, I've acquired almost, well, yeah, all of these within the past few months and I'm just so excited to have them. Um, they've been at the tippy top of my wish list for a long time and now that I have them, it just kind of feels surreal and so I just wanna share them with you guys and I would love any tips or advice that you might have for any of them. So leave it in the comments if you own one, uh, but I guess let's just get into it. So first up is my Hoya Hushiklana variegated. And this is one that I am obsessed with. It grows so fast. The coloring is just amazing. And if you own one of these, you know, I mean, they're even prettier in person. The new growth comes in really pink, um, really dark, and just every single leaf is different. Um, I love the leaves that are mostly white in the center, and then they just have the really dark edge. And I think that's so cool. I love this one a lot. Um, worth the price, worth the hype. Um, this size, I haven't really seen any for sale this size, so I'm really happy about this one. Um, it's grown quite a bit, but I got it as, you know, pretty good size, um, from the plant bar and I just can't say enough good things about it. I love it so much. So, Hoya Hushiklana variegated, I think I'm saying that right. I will probably mispronounce like all of these because... They're just hard sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, I love this one so much. All right, and then we have the Philodendron Rio. And this one also is growing so quickly. Um, I have this one in my greenhouse cabinet and the humidity stays around 80% um, and temps in like 75 degrees and it has just taken off. I got it as just like a three leaf little starter plant in this pot. Um, I have not potted it up or anything. I don't think it needs it anytime soon. There's only one little root coming out at the bottom. So I'm gonna leave it. It will stay living in my um, greenhouse cabinet. You can tell just by the size of the aerial roots that it loves that humidity. Um, and it's not growing on anything yet. I don't really know what plans I have for this plant. If I want it to just trail, uh, if I want to chop it, propagate and make a full pot. I'm not quite sure. So let me know if you have any ideas, if you think I should put it on a moss pole. I don't know, let me know in the comments. But this is one of my favorites as well. Um, very unique, a little bit harder to find, and the coloring is just stunning. Love, love, love. All right, and then we have the Ficus Shiveriana. This is another newer one to me. Um, this Ficus has been at the top of my wish list for years. I honestly never thought I would have one, but Hannah at We Are Plant Lovers sourced it for me and I'm so thankful that she was able to do that. Um, it is so beautiful. The coloring and the variegation is extremely unique, especially for ficus. And um, it's just got that like mottled look to it and I love it a lot. Um, so far, I have it in this super chunky mix and it is under a Rousseau grow light and it is doing well. It has some new growth coming in and I haven't been too concerned about it. I haven't lost any leaves. I haven't had any yellowing or browning or anything. So, um, I think it's doing pretty well. I keep it watered when the medium is about mm, two thirds dry or so. I'll give it a good soak. Um, but other than that, it just, it just lives under the grow light and is happy. So again, so beautiful. My most favorite ficus of all time. So cool. All right. Then we have this big guy. This is the Hoya Croniana Super Silver. And this one was a local find and I squealed when I saw it <laughs> and ran over there because I could not believe that I found one this big. It was, let's see, $75 for this pot, which is like a steal. Um, this is one of the slower growing Hoyas, in my opinion. I do have it under grow lights, um, and maybe it would be happier in like this west window back here or something, I don't know. But I mean, it's been growing pretty well for me. Um, under the grow lights, it's just slower, and um, it's so pretty. I wish it would grow a little bit faster, but 
Um, definitely worth it if you can get your hands on one. If you can find one that's a little bit bigger, I would pay extra because since it does grow a little bit slower, it'd be nicer to have a little head start. Um, but if all you can find is cuttings, it's still worth it because it's so, so pretty. And when you get these full leaves of just like silvery with a little dark splotches, oh, so, so pretty. Love this plant so much. Um, this one, like I said, is under grow lights and I water it when it's pretty much completely dry. Um, I use Foliage Pro on all of these and I will have it down in the description if you want to grab some, but love it, love this plant so much. And last but not least, number five is my variegated ficus lorata fiddle leaf fig. Um, this one is also from Hannah at We Are Plant Lovers and I, it's literally a stick, <laughs> but I love it so much. And it does have new growth coming, if you can see it right there, right in there. And so that's really exciting. I didn't really know what to expect from it. I was hoping that it wasn't gonna be just a really expensive twig, but um, seeing the new growth is hopeful. Um, I just hope that it turns out okay, and that it doesn't like rot or anything like that or fall off. Um, I'm excited to see what it does. The variegation on these also is beautiful. I don't know if you guys have seen these in person ever, but again, it's one of those plants that's even more pretty in person. And I really can't wait to see this one grow and get bigger and fuller. Um, but yeah, so that is all. This is number five. Those are my top five most expensive and most rare plants. And I love them all and I'm happy to have them all. And let me know in the comments if you have one um, or any of them and how you're caring for it because I'm always willing to learn any little tips or tricks, advice, whatever. Um, but yeah, if you guys are not already, make sure you follow over um, at House Plus Plant on Instagram. Check it out. I do daily Q and A's and stories and we have a fun little community going over there. And yeah, like this video, subscribe, um, comment your favorite rare plant that you own. I would love to know. I'm always looking to add to my list. So I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you later.